What's up, Rupert here from Grand Permaculture. In this video, I'm gonna give a quick tutorial for all my peeps in New South Wales, how you can create an accurate property boundary map based on cadastra data from the government. And so the first place we wanna to go to is this portal spatial New South Wales uh, website. The first, I'll put a link into the video description. We're gonna click this button here, export data. It's going to take you to this page here, export content. We pretty much just want to get the property layer is what we're concerned with. We're going to click next. We're going to zoom in to an area of interest, wherever your property might be. I'm just going to pick um, somewhere here in, let's say, Dunbible on the northern New South Wales coast. I highlight that area. It's highlighted it for me. I'm going to click next. Uh, and then up here, I'm going to select my format, right? So because we're using Google Earth Pro, we're going to go Google KML. It's going to leave this export datum and the coordinate system, leave it all as, as it is. Put in your email address, hit export. Now that's going to send you an email with the data pack, all zipped up, ready to go. It may take a minute to come through. Here it is. Boom, data's there. Click this link. Download it, and it takes a few seconds. Got it there, unzip this. And the property today, 740, this EPSG 43624. Okay, cool. So then I go into Google Earth, file open. I'm gonna select that layer that just downloaded, which was today, 740, this one here. I'm going to open it and it's going to zoom me right into that layer that we just downloaded. So this is now telling me all of the property boundary for this particular area, but that as it is doesn't show me a lot of information. I can adjust the style and the color. So I right click the layer, click on style color, click share style. I prefer for boundaries to just go outline and you can see it's just highlighted the outline for us. If you want to change the color, you can change the color like this. Now we're looking at pink. Now let's say this here is your property and you want to uh, draw it. Let's pick an easy one right here for the sake of drawing that. So I use the Regrarians platform. So I have a template here of uh, folders that I use. So I'm going to click on my fences layer and I'm going to click on my add polygon up in the top menu bar. And I'm just going to trace that basically trace the outline of the um, cadastre data and create my own polygon. Now that is not perfect. You can zoom in and get it precise. I'm just going to call it property boundary. Okay. And that's given me the property boundary. Now I can either the original data, I can just leave it there in temporary places. When I open Google Earth Pro next time, it's not going to be there. But if I want to make sure that my property boundary is there, I'm going to go File, Save, Save My Places. And that's going to save everything in my places. Um, so next time I open it, it will still be there. So there we go. That's the property boundary traced off cadastre data. So I know that it's very accurate. And if I go to my measurements, <clears throat> it's going to tell me it's a perimeter of 2.6 kilometers and it's a 97 acre property. So it's a really quick, easy way to get some data on any of the any property in New South Wales. So if you got some value out of that video, let me know. Drop a comment, like, subscribe. We've got lots of other videos on the YouTubes as well. And uh, I hope this helps you in your land planning and regenerative journey. Peace.